Good day. Today I'm going to uh, talk about uh, e-log. So we all enjoy talking about e-log. If it isn't good, then it is not so good, one or the other. So I'm going to run down uh, the basic rundown on uh, how to use Big Road mobile app uh, on, on your e-log. So uh, this right here, you can, as you can see, I'm already uh, logged in. I'm already uh, uh, driving uh, the way it looks like. But it's actually, uh, I'm not connected to any dash link. And the reason why it's because I'm uh, uh, not in my truck uh, at the moment. So I'm just basically uh, doing this for training. And uh, so it's not uh, hooked up to a dash link. And there, it makes a difference, uh, differences, rather it is connected to dash link or not. But I will try to explain it still uh, what what you would uh, what you would expect to see if you are connected on your dash link. And uh, often I uh, so as you can see, there's a little dot moving around on the screen. Uh, that's what you want to follow. Uh, it might be certain areas is not going to be able to see it when I'm on a, a lighter, uh, like on a duty uh, circles, whatever. But uh, try to follow that dot, and that's how I'm going to uh, try to. Uh, do my best on explaining how this app works and uh, maybe it can be a uh, help to you. So uh, basically on top here you will often see that you're uh, that you're not connected to Dashlink if you're not if you're on eLog. So that's uh, one thing you, you want to see if there if it tells you that you're not connected to eLog and you want to make sure that you're either resetting your phone or or uh, making sure that your Dashlink is connected so that it will uh, get rid of that. And then going into the circle where it says driving right now, that's uh, that's to change your duty status. And then so here you have the choice of uh, off-duty sleeper driving and on-duty, of course. And then one thing we often use is the duty status with the note. So you can also use that. Uh, begin personal use. That is a, 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 the option. Uh, one of the options here as well. And if you're connected to a dash link in between here, you will have a yard move. So the yard move basically allows you to uh, allows you to drive uh, five miles uh, distance or seven kilometers. On, if you're on Canadian uh, kilometers, then uh, th that's what it allows you to drive before it actually will switch over to driving. So when you're parked on a, a truck stop and you want to move uh, from the, from your parking spot to the uh, fuel lane. And you would rather not uh, have your law book to uh, uh, start uh, uh, counting your hours already. You can select that uh, uh, yard move, go up to the fuel lane, and fuel. And then uh, once you get there, you go on on duty, and then you do your pre trip, and you include that you fuel there as well, and then you go from there. And um, okay, I will uh, select here uh, uh, duty status with a note just to explain how that works. So if you uh, select there, this is basically what will show up. You want to make sure that you have that you select the right duty uh, on the uh, off-duty bar here. If you're in sleeper, it will actually obviously see uh, say sleeper. So you want to select here, and then you go uh, uh, select on duty, and then, and then on the notes here, you want to leave a note. Rather, it is a pre-trip in the morning or fuel, or you can do both. So if you do pre-trip, and then you do a space. And then you can uh, do a uh, fuel. I often did uh, for myself when I was a driver. I would do it like this, and then uh, do it down, and then save, and then you have uh, have your duty uh, change. So now you're actually uh, it actually says that you're on duty. And then if you need a uh, duty uh, change it again, go off duty, or you go sleeper, and then uh, do duty set it with a note again. And you will see that uh, now it memorizes what I just uh, typed in last time, pre-trip and fuel. So then it, it will memorize that. So you only have to type it in once and then it will memorize that uh, for the next time. So that's actually very nice that they uh, made that uh, possible that it is memorizing it. And you don't have to use a typing uh, option every time. And then uh, over here you basically can see how much time you have uh, left on the day. And uh, what you have, uh, how much you have uh, left on a circle for the uh, for this next seven days, and uh, or eight days on the U.S. side, and then uh, you you have uh, your shift, and then uh, how long it will take until you break uh, resets. If you're driving right now, then we'll, uh, over here it would switch over to 
how much time you have left until you need to take your next half an hour break. And then I'm going to go down here. So we're right now, uh, all of this is uh, being done on the, on your homepage. And then you have your logs uh, right next to it. Over here you can do uh, inspections for uh, DOT inspections. So you basically just uh, do inspect logs. And then you uh, select the 14 day or the uh, 7 days uh, uh, according to whether you're on the Canadian or American side obviously. And then inspect logs. And then you can... Uh, Choose different what you want if you want to do view it on screen or if you want to send by email. So if you do view on screen, uh, this is basically what you will have. Uh, you uh, set uh, you have to type in your uh, password, but I'm not going to do uh, that, that right now. Just going to go, uh, go back and uh, skip that. And then, uh, so over here you have your uh, logbox and uh, this is what the DOT would be able to go uh, go through and go back and, and look at your logbook uh, for your full seven days or whatever they need to. And then once they're done, just sit back and then select done and then you're back on, on your main page. And then you can also, uh, in the same area, you can just do uh, send an email and then ins inspect logs as well and then add email address and then you just select from uh, from a list that you have already here. And uh, so I'm going to uh, select uh, my own email address. And then you would just uh, hit uh, send. But this time I don't uh, care for sending it uh, to my, myself. I will just go back and then uh, not worry about uh, uh, sending that to myself. And then you have uh, view logs here. That is where you can, if you uh, want to make sure that your logbook is all... Uh, uh, current and you want to make sure that everything is uh, the way it's supposed to be but at the end of the day before you sign your log you go over here you look at your locations and you can uh, if you see all of a sudden that there's one of them uh, wrong that you would like uh, would rather uh, change it so you can uh, let's say I'll, I'll uh, select this one here on duty that I did uh, earlier today so I uh, select that and then uh, okay instead of uh, 5 p.m. I would rather have that 5:30. So then I just uh, select that time there, and I can do uh, select it uh, whatever I want. So I can go 5:25, whatever uh, number you w would rather ha have there. So let's go just with 5:30 and select OK and uh, save here. And uh, also, if you did for forget to uh, add add field somewhere, and uh, let's say you uh, you filled here in Morden, uh, you uh, can edit that. And then you just uh, select the note, and then you uh, select fill, and then uh, save. Now you add added that to to that uh, to the notes, and then they can actually see that you have a uh, fill that day. And then uh, that, that's how you can just go uh, the uh, over the list and uh, make sure everything is where it's su supposed to. Uh, right here, obviously, I have more than necessary uh, pre trips. So uh, if you have more than what you need to, you can always. Uh, Added inspection, and then uh, and then you can actually uh, just edit that and uh, delete if you want to. So uh, just to clean it up, if you all of a sudden didn't uh, uh, didn't uh, remember that you already selected once and you uh, accidentally hit it twice, you can uh, delete one of them. Same with here. If you have uh, crowded, if your uh, screen is crowded, you need to clean up on it. That make uh, sure that it looks uh, it looks uh, clean up. You can uh, just uh, select whichever uh, link you want and you can uh, uh, delete as many as you want. Now if you're an actual ELD uh, then obviously you will not be able to change any times on the actual driving time but you can do anything else like you can change whatever else you want to do you can uh, just delete or you can change the time and you can do whatever you want so you can uh, it's very convenient uh, this big road actually allows us to, uh, a lot of uh, flexible on uh, changing on duty or off duty time if we all of a sudden have too much on duty uh, throughout our week and we need to go back uh, the last seven days to uh, readjust that it is doable you can do that you basically go in here and, and you go back uh, to your last seven days as you can see that the date, dates are changing on the top and then uh, go, go get rid of your on duty time there and uh, once you go out so I'm gonna go back to the home page here 
and uh, uh, chat we don't use that a lot but that's uh, for companies that would actually communicate with their dispatcher and uh, use that but we don't use that so I'm not going to uh, worry about uh, too many details on that and uh, uh, drivers uh, here from the home page uh, drivers uh, inspection would this uh, be and uh, if you select that that's where you have your option uh, right now I'm not uh, signed up with a truck so I'm not I don't have a truck option here right now but if you are already signed up with a the truck then your truck number should show up uh, in this list list as well and um, your trailer number uh, if you're new at the company the trailer will not be show, uh, showing up you basically just uh, select other trailer then and then you fill in in your trailer number and your plate number on there and then you uh, select save and then it will show up here like I have it here already and then once you have that basically all you need to do to do your inspection you select that and then you select uh, save and then uh, you have an uh, you have done uh, an inspection there right and obviously you, you want to make sure that you right away after you select that you want to uh, go on duty here as well and then uh, next one over is uh, basically if you want to switch between trucks you uh, drive uh, uh, more than one truck and uh, you switch between trucks this is where you would uh, select your truck but I'm not going to worry about that that's basically a list of uh, company trucks that we have and, uh, and then you can update uh, trailer uh, trailer information so if you select that it basically uh, allows you to uh, change your trailer information if you want if you need that uh, to be changed you can update that and then also uh, shipping documents so uh, on your dispatch sheet you will uh, see a four digit uh, number or it can be with different co companies it can be longer uh, numbers than that but at our company it's a four digit uh, number and uh, on your uh, dispatch sheet you just uh, grab that number and you type it in once you dispatch to a, a load or once you're heading towards that load i should say and then uh, type that in and then uh, select done so you have your trailer number and your shipping document number and then you select done and then that, that, that will up automatically update us that as well so that you're uh, if a DOT does an inspection and they want want to see your paperwork, then it will actually uh, match up with your law book and your uh, paperwork will match up at the time. So that that's uh, that. And uh, so at the end of the day, uh, you want to do, uh, like this is a home page. At the end of the day, you want to select more. And then uh, you select today's log. And then uh, once you select the, today's log, this is uh, where you uh, look over your log book again. And then all, uh, scroll all the way down. You just make sure that your uh, uh, your pre-trip uh, uh, inspection will match up with your uh, morning pre-trip. So uh, I, I would make that a habit myself that I did make that a habit. I would always look at the time here and also look at the time. Uh, where I did my pre-trip inspection and, and make sure that that is uh, matching up. So right now that is uh, 507 uh, at, on, on the top here and I have a 5 o'clock in the uh, bottom so then I would uh, make sure that I go in whichever one is not needed to be changed, uh, whichever would be uh, more uh, more convenient. Uh, or, so I would just select 507 and then uh, OK and then select uh, save and then you you have that matching up so that is one one thing that a DOT officer would offer and ask okay why do you, did you do your inspection here at 507 but yet over here you did at uh, at four o'clock or or the other way around so uh, just make sure that that uh, matches up and uh, it's like uh, save all and then once you select save all uh, uh, that then you can uh, it basically just uh, ask you to confirm that everything is uh, in order whatever and uh, select sign and then you have uh, that's basically all you need to see on on, on your uh, screen that's basically all all you need to do on your log book to run, run your e-log and uh, go back to home page you wait until the next day you don't need to do anything else in the morning then uh, then you just select this circle go on, on duty or you do duty status with a note and then uh, select pre-trip again and then uh, save and then that's what you would do in the morning to start uh, but that, that that will be all for today Ho hopefully this uh, video will uh, help you for 
uh, for guiding through your uh, law book and whenever you do have this uh, orange flag here uh, you can select on that and it basically tells you which day you have a, a violation and then you can see it right now there it, it shows this day has a violation but I can't find it on the screen here so then you just basically do edit uh, inspection or I would do uh, edit logs and then you select here and then it will be in, in this area so right now I know what, what my uh, the reason is why my law book does this and it's basically because I'm not I don't have a, a truck in my uh, e-log right now so since I'm not uh, sign up with a truck it actually tells me there's no truck uh, driving uh, driven today so then uh, what I can do to fix that because I'm uh, I did add a bunch of uh, ads after that and uh, that that are uh, that are not supposed to be there so I'm just gonna uh, get rid of all of that and then it, it will that, that uh, will that uh, disappear that it will not tell me that there's uh, uh, no, no truck in in there anymore but yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, just once you have that, uh, make uh, look it down, uh, find where where that uh, flag is, uh, where it's flagging you, rather it's your odometer or if it is, uh, and the odometer is at that same uh, same lo location that I just uh, talked about, uh, that uh, where I just found a truck. Just a second here, I will uh, go there and see if it actually will disappear. But. Yeah, so I'm back here. So if you, if I go in here now, and uh, select edit again. Let me see if I can add our truck now. Yeah, so then you have to have an odometer. And that would be basically it. So now, now I got rid of that uh, question mark there as well. So then uh, after this, you can uh, uh, select sign and then you have no more question mark anywhere so you can go out and you don't have that uh, marking that you that you have an error or any of that anymore on on your logbook so that that's it for today if you have any questions i will uh, post this on uh, youtube so if you have any questions uh, uh, leave a comment asking a question whatever you want i'll uh, do my best to answer you on that have a good day bye